Well, my name's Anne Jersh. And I'm Ray Kelnham. <laughs> we both teach uh, FLP, uh, uh, the, the practitioner and the advanced. So we thought we'd just have a, a chat in general about the training. Ray's, Ray's a brilliant trainer. She's so, so good. It's brilliant feedback. So we were just going to have a chat about the training and, and what happens. And before we get into the what we do on the train, I just want to mention how people change. I, I, I find by day two, there's a shift in mm. people because they're not just learning the skill, they're being worked on. So it's very hands-on. People work on each other. And each time they work on each other, they're doing a session, so they start to change. They build up their confidence. You see them getting really confident. And then but that somebody's working on them and taking them to different time frames. You see all these shifts going on. And by the time they leave, they're really they walk, they walk different. They sort of carry themselves different. And I think that's one of the things I love is to see this shift in people because you can easily train in things. I know I've trained in things, I've come out and go, oh, I'm not quite sure what I'm doing. And yeah not really getting that chance to practice but I expect you've found very much the same thing haven't you oh yeah to totally yeah they they come in with sort of like one idea um and thinking this is how they are but then when mm. they start working with the with with each other you know taking them forwards and backwards in time you do sort of like see the changes in them as they realize the stuff that they've actually got rid of themselves or the the things that they've seen in the future they're going I'm going to bring that back into now because this could really move my my life forward. And you do, yeah, you see them leave with sort of like, I can do so much more in my life now. I know where I'm going and what I'm doing. And it is, it is absolutely amazing just to watch, to watch it happen. Yeah, I think people spend a lot of time trying to get to where they want to be from where they are right now. But where we are right now, we haven't got the energy. We haven't got the focus by jumping time getting to that point where you've done it you know what it feels like you know how you are and that that seems to really shift something all of a sudden they're, they're living it because we really build some strong anchors there by living it and feeling it and experiencing the future you who's there I don't know that they, they I think then it becomes more real it's almost quantum physics we're creating that reality yeah, and, and we do create our own realities because if you think, um, so if I was to go back five years for myself and I and myself five years ago was to ask myself now, oh, how did you get to what you were doing? You know, um, what mistakes did you make? You know, what decisions did you make or didn't you make? And I gave that to my, myself five years ago. Myself five years ago would have gone, do you know something? I'm going to go down this path now. I'm not going to follow that step or yes, I'm going to meet this. I'm going to go and talk to this person that I didn't talk to because when I did talk to them, I got this. So mm. it, so it, it's, it's amazing that when you, when you see what the future is and you experience it, you really do sort of like, you are able to bring that so much into your present now Um and then when you next go five years into the future, you've actually quantum leaped and you've actually gone even further than you yeah. did when you first went five yeah. years into the future. And that's an amazing thing as well to to watch when you when you have a client comes to you and they go five years into the future. And then a couple of years later, they come and see you again and you go another five years in the future and they've got even more advanced yeah, and do it, it does even, even jump better stuff. I think a lot of it is also that we're getting rid of the day to day because you, you know if you look at this, say, say if we look at the average therapist, they, they're doing a bit of this and a bit of that and a bit, and none of that's getting them anywhere. You know, people that do well, you know what they do, you know what they're known for, and it helps people to go, oh, I'm not doing that, I'm not, do I won't bother taking that. This is what I do, and they start honing in everything they do towards the the thing that brings them success and so you see them becoming almost a bit more business-like taking themselves more seriously rather than going well, yeah, I'm going to go off and play over here now well, I'm going to go and do that which is what most therapists do they kind of scatter their energy and we all know that putting that complete focus into what into the big picture that's when it starts to work for us it's nice to see them 
in a way, taking themselves more seriously and working in a more business-like fashion. Oh yeah, to- totally. And you know, when you actually do the um, the FLP training, the Future Life training, you know, you get so much from it. You know, you do the consultation. You know, you know, you actually get to do proper con- con- consultations. You know. Mm. which is really one of the crucial pieces about a successful session because Mm. you learn to set up the entire process. You put your client at ease, you effectively communicate what to expect and guide them on gaining the most of a transformative experience. And again, we go through the process, you know, mastering the step-by-step techniques to relax your client because a lot of people don't realise that you actually have to relax the client beforehand. Yeah, yeah. To actually guide them um you know into um their their future um you know and again a bit and this is you know obviously Anne created all this the scripts the scripts and the prompts are absolutely amazing so you can't go wrong I like I, I know when I, a lot of hypnotherapists really turn their nose up at scripts but I, when I train in something I like to have a structure and once you get used to that structure, you start your instincts start to kick in, and you're not you kind of adapt it more for the individual person. But in that early days, I've trained in things that I've never used because they haven't given me any structure to the work. It's going do a bit of this, do a bit of that, and you come out and you go, "What was all that?" Totally, totally jumbled up in my head. Don't remember any of it. And other people have said the same. I like to have a proper structure to work with. You're dealing with people. You need you need to kind of have some sort of structure to get it right. But once you've done it, I always say to people, go and do 20 sessions and you'll feel like you've always done it. And then your instincts start to kick in and you start, to go, oh, I'm going to ask that question. Oh, I need to know a bit more. And so your own instincts, you start to guide people in your own way from a structure. So you have that structure in order to move beyond it. Yeah, no, you, you you do need to have that those scripts and your, your structures. And as you said, you can then adapt it to, you know, to work with that particular client you've got, but also how yeah. you work as well. Yeah, um, absolutely. Your own well, uniqueness to it. You, you really do. You start to use your own individual way of working. And that's really, really good. Um, I've had to, I've found in training, I've had to learn to step back and let people you know, what what we do, if anybody listening, we talk, we explain every step, we explain it really carefully, we demonstrate it, and then we give you the paperwork with everything mapped out. So it's, it's really foolproof. So I had to learn from that point, once I've demonstrated, to step back and let people do the work. Uh, they've got everything there to do it. And I found the bits there, difficult for Leo to admit, but the bits there, well, I are the bits they do, not the bits I do. They come back, oh my God, the session, and oh, the session, just, oh, guess what I saw in the future. So that they're, they're actually buzzing with the work they've done. And so, uh, they, they, I mean, I know, I know there's one hypnotherapy training in the first year, nobody works on anybody else on any level. And you just think the people really not lose confidence. As soon as you've gone, worked with it, your confidence comes up. You start to feel so much stronger. And, yeah, as you say, we we take right from the beginning the consultation, which is so important to get that right. You know, that the person knows what's going to happen, that we found out everything we need to find out, what they want from this and really find that out. Walking them through the relaxation, which is very simple. It's a very simple process. And then working with whatever session is needed, because it could be past life, it could be future life, it could be... Alternative lives, yeah, 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 oh, yeah. yeah. You know, and and that you know, and that's the amazing thing um, as well is the fact that it can be used for so many different, mm. so many, so many different things. You know, whether it's your career, your love life, your home, yeah, um, you know, anything you can think of, mm. you can use it for. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And you find you find it, what was interesting on my on my website, I've got some free downloads and the most popular times five is the one seeing your future home. That is more popular than all the others put together. Uh, times five. It's so popular. So it shows, you know, logically, I would not have known that. I would have thought it'd been love, life or career. But 
the property one because it's such a big move and you need to know you're going to be if you've ever lived anywhere that's awful neighbors or doesn't suit you and then you you know the you really know I really want to get this right. I really um want to live somewhere lovely, uh, that suits suits you. And to and it's a minefield. Uh, it, it's an absolute minefield property. You know, making that decision and making the right move, where to go, selling your own place. We can look into all that in depth. It's so popular. But yeah, love life. I, I always say to people, when I take you forward, you see your future partner. When you get married, you do have to invite me to the wedding it's a little raw so as i have been going to weddings it's been great fun it's so so good <laughs> it, it is and you know it's not just about um uh you know uh learning how to take people into the future into the past into an alternate futures and experiencing that yourself as well but yeah. it's also setting yourself up in business so you're setting yourself up for um, success, you know, where you get insights on building a client base, establishing authority and becoming, yeah. you know, a successful practitioner. And because of all the experience that you've had Anne, and all the business, um, you know, acumen and everything that you've got, the fact that we've got that in the training that we can yeah. use yeah. is absolutely amazing. I, I really think so. I think it's because I, I, I remember my early days and I think I've learned a lot about the business side of this because 45 years I would have. And most of it is what I've done wrong. And that's not false modesty because I don't do that. I didn't know what I was doing. I've got most of it wrong, wasted money, wasted time. I could have done it all a lot sooner and slicker if I, if I knew what I was doing. And uh, fortunately, along the way, I, I've come across people that are super successful and they've been very kind in advising me and I just think we all go off and make the same mistakes we all go off and do the same stuff you know give some marketing company three five grand or whatever and they don't do anything you know big talk but don't do anything we've all kind of make the same mistakes and so it, it, it's a bit like I paid uh, a solicitor to write a disclaimer on my website and I just think it's really daft if everybody, all the practitioners go off and do the same thing, just use mine. It's been put together legally. Just, you you, you know, it's, it's an easy way to do things. And I think, you know, just talking from experience, that's what worked. This is what's worked for me. You might find other things, but this is what I found worked. And, um, yeah, build people up. I, I love that many of the practitioners come on your show because I, I mm. say to them, Get out there and do a lot of talking. Go on shows. Get The more you do, the more confident you get. So the amount of them that have been on your show, and they've come and just say it's a really nice, relaxed environment. You know, it's no big pressure. You're just going to have a nice chat. Ray's really easy to work with. And then they cut their teeth and think, oh, I can do that. I can be on shows. I can talk about my work. And that starts to open, really open people up. I'm glad you mentioned the business side because, yeah, it's surprising how we're not taught that you you learn all this stuff and you go out there and go what do I do now yeah yeah the the the, the business um side in the training I think is you know one of the most Im it's important things you know it's great to learn you know how to take people forwards and backwards in in time you know the relaxation relaxation techniques but if mm. you don't know that business side of it then <laughs> you're not going to be using that uh, all that information that you've learned yeah. um, to, to the full advantage, not just for yourself, but for everyone, everyone yeah. else. It's like that ripple effect. When you start working with other people, taking them forwards and backwards in time, mm. their energy changes, which then affects the next person and their energy changes and expands yeah. and then that affects the next person. So before you know it, you're creating this energy of, of positive energy and people yeah. going I know what I'm doing I know where I'm going and yeah. I'm happy doing it and that's the thing happiness and joyfulness I, I really love that because I just see so many people who work really really hard and it costs money I mean that to set themselves up take the courses they've got a lot of effort and money and they, they they're not getting very far and they see a lot of big talk online and I go look a lot of people online exaggerate and that, that, 
there'll be people talking online what, about what a big shot they are, then telling me privately, I've got no work, I've only had two clients this month, you know. So it's like the reality, but of course, when you're starting out, and I feel for people, when they've put a lot of effort in and it's something they really want to do, and people aren't finding them, just go, you, if somebody's really good at what they do, and you can help them get that work out there, they're going to make a difference to their own lives, but also to a whole bunch of others. As you say, it's that ripple effect. Right? They start to really help other people and have their own nice, successful business. It just, it's a win, win, win. Everybody wins. So I love, I love that, which is why I set up working uh, with coaching side, because I really wanted to work with people and really help them hone their business, just really build their business, uh, what bits are missing, which aren't. And we're starting off with the FLP, just giving them that vision, making people visionary and feeling what they're capable of, just what they are capable of, what they can do. Um, because when you've been several years and it hasn't grown much or it's grown a little bit, it's disappointing. It's quite heartbreaking for people, isn't it? It is, yeah, and, and I, I like that, you know, around the capability, but also mm. with the training as well, it's the people you meet. So yeah. many friendships have developed um, from from the training. You know, I've, you know, I've made some brilliant um, close friendships through doing the training, through doing the training myself, but also the people I've taught as well, you know, friendships um, with them. And we have such a brilliant community where, you know, you just you share, you celebrate, um, you get ideas from each other, you exchange, um, you know, going into the future and into the past. So the community side from doing the training is absolutely amazing um, as well. And of course, with you, Anne, you know, something new comes out. We're the first people that actually get to hear yeah. about to experience yeah. it. I love that. I love that. And it's only maybe once a year or twice a year. I'll get like a download and it'll be something new. And I go, right, I'm going to do this one free for practitioners. And it's great, you know, because they'll say, oh, usually you have to pay out more money and more money and more money. It's just nice to now to go, I'm going to do an evening. I'm doing an evening in uh, soon, um, uh, clear the past, just do a clear the past, um, uh, just just a free thing. I might, but I might just put it out there in general. Just now and again, put something out there for everybody and, as you say, the way everybody gets together, what was interesting for me is people will come on a train and I go, oh, look, them two are off doing such and such and they've met up, they've gone out for dinner. The way that, that you know, the way people have connected is so, so nice, re really good. But I think that's because they're it attracts a type of person. Not everybody understands that you can slip around in time, that you can fast track. And some people, I actually had a woman say to me, is it right to just go to the best bit of the future and find out what to do? Shouldn't we have to have it hard in order to learn? I went, you do all the learning you want. I've had enough happen in my bloody life. I want to get to that. I want to just go for it and spread a bit of joy and make it easy for me and everybody else. Yeah, you do. She's going, I think we're here to suffer. I went, great, fill your boots, lady. <laughs> I don't think my training is going to be for you, though. <laughs> no, no, ex exactly. And of course, once you've done, you know, you've you've gone out and you've done the initial training and you're working and then mm. you're like, can I do more with this? And you can because we actually do advanced training as well, don't we? Yeah, we do. And I think you've got the practice coming up in July, haven't you? You've got yours coming yeah. up. Yeah, good, so good, I've good. got the, uh, so I'm doing the FL practitioners um, I, uh, in, in July. I think it's the... <laughs> 10th 11th 12th something like that Brilliant. and then later on in the year you're doing the advanced yeah but a, a couple of people have said when you're going to do an advance I haven't done one for quite a while I've been really really bit busy uh the last year 18 months so I haven't really put an advance for a while so the advance what happened with the advance was teaching the practitioner I'm really enjoying that and I kept feeling there was further to go and I couldn't I'm trying to connect with my future self a long way in the future and I was find I found that quite difficult at first now it's easy now I find it easy to do with other people but I think um yeah I was finding it hard to connect and then one day that connection was there and and so I asked my far distant future self what do we need to know us as people you know we do all this work read the book on oh, of course we work so hard on ourselves we all seem to have something that just keeps reoccurring or not sorting itself out or 
what is it as humans in our everyday lives that we need to know? Um, and the answer come back is you try to clear stuff, but you're looking in the wrong place. I went, okay. I said, um, you, you, you do a bit of past life work and dig around in your childhood, but are you going to the, you have to go back to the actual origin, the origin of a problem, um, of what started that issue. And it could come up through the ancestry. It's surprising how much comes up through the ancestry. Um, I said, think of a little boy. This was how it was explained to me. Um, having this great conversation with my future self. Um, little boy playing with his truck and a massive spider runs across his hand and frightens him. And that kind of set a pattern in him. After that, every time he saw a spider, he'd have that jolt and it gets worse. So by the time he's in his 20s, tiny spider and he has that reaction. Not logical, but that's that reaction. So, um, and then he doesn't remember the original. He doesn't remember being two or three or whatever it was. So he has a bit of therapy and he goes, oh, Tom, I was eight in this spider. Or Tom, I was 12. And, and it, it's like a wall. You've got the keystone, the original incident is the keystone. And then every time it happens, you another brick comes up, which reinforces the whole problem. And they said, you take a brick out here, that Tom, I was eight. A brick out there, that Tom, I was 12. You've got to find the original incident and take away the keystone and the whole wall comes down. And I thought, oh, okay, that's an interesting way of, otherwise you just keep having the thing just comes back up. So I found that immensely useful. So I was given this uh, a beautiful, beautiful session where you trace the origin. Is it past life? Is it ancestral? Is it childhood? And that has been phenomenal. I mean, I've had so much. I'm sure you have. I mean, it's just. I love you. I love using that. That right. has been the basis for a majority of of the um of the work mm. I've done. It's the three passageways. I I love doing that. I find that really. Um. So one of the things I did also was in my early days, I I have uh, uh, given away the ballroom here in the offices. It was really weird. Some guy showed up, went, I want the ballroom. And they went, OK. And I went, no, it's our ballroom. And he's left now anyway. But I want to get that. But it was a lovely, big, old-fashioned ballroom, great big oak table. And it just part of a message to the practitioners. I'm going to do this thing long way in the future. And I, I think about eight could make it that morning. So about eight, was it eight, nine, came along. Didn't tell them what we were doing beforehand. And so I'm going to take you a thousand or more years into the future to find your far distant, highly evolved future self. Don't collaborate. Don't tell each other. When I take you through this, I'm going to ask you certain things, then write down your impressions. And it was amazing because the, the what they put down was so similar. They, it was like they were much more translucent, in and out of form, and big, but the wisdom that came was phenomenal. That wisdom... And so I love I love that when people I think we do need we, it's like where we were saying earlier people seem quite uptight and bogged down with life and angry about stuff but to just jump and t connect with that I I sometimes think a lot of the time when people see an angels it is actually their future self because when the description was very very similar to looking angelic that amazing translucent energy. It seemed quite translucent, but who's going to look after you more than your future self? Exactly, because your future self wants you to do well, and yeah. and so that your future and so that your future self can actually be more advanced than they are when you see them initially. Mm -mm. Yeah, because, absolutely. Because when you start putting into now. place all that stuff, they mm. evolve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, what we do now feels them them a better future. Did, uh, so with the advanced, do you do much with the health? The um, yeah, I'm, I mean the, the health is 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 quite it's quite you know a big one because I think a lot of people do have issues with their health these days. Mm -hmm. And yes, you can put it down to certain lifestyles and food, mm -hmm. but you know, is there something that 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 came along in the past that actually? you know triggered that that one thing that, mm. that 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 did it but also not just the past but if you've got say you're you're obese now say mm. if you go into a future self where you're not obese yeah and you can say okay 
how did I get to this stage? What did yeah. I have to do to achieve that? Mm. Um, you know, which which is amazing. And I also love the thing where you go back to before an issue occurred. Yeah. That is absolutely amazing yeah. that, that you came up with that one where you go to before that issue occurred. That was inspired by uh, Richard Bandrum. He had somebody up on stage and he took him back to the age of six. And the guy went, oh, my eyes have gone funny. He was talking as if he was sick. He was great to be back. And, and he, Richard went, whoa, okay, take glass off. Took his glass off and went, oh, I can see now. Because his eyes at the age of six were fine and getting into mid-40s or whatever. And they've gone a bit. So Richard said to him, keep your eyesight as good as it was when you were six. But everything else, when you come back to your, your current time, you'll be as you were, except you'll have that eyesight of six shot. And the guy's eyesight, when they hadn't tested and it massively improved, and I thought, that is very cool. So there are a number of people in London that actually work with improving eyesight by taking people back to that point. But, yeah, well, we'll go back to when you were younger, when you were healthier, when you were leaner, because we seem to be better at uh, <laughs> burning off fat when we're younger, running around all over the place. Um, but going back before we had an issue, I I, lo I love that. That is, yeah, that that going back to that previous time is really really good. There's one thing um, if anybody works with that, you always make sure the time they go back to there wasn't other problems. So if they if they'd had a death in the family or somebody had had a big problem, you avoid that time. So you go back to a point and you ask them, is there anything else major going on at that time before you anchor them, uh, and then you have a brilliant session. But it's funny taking people to their healthiest 10 years time. Often they've only got to make tiny changes now. It's not anything dramatic. You don't have to run five miles every bloody day. You know, often it's only little things now over time make that huge difference. So I, I love that. And I, I love working with the advance. And it's been interesting to work in different countries because it's they have different ways of processing the information i mean everywhere i've worked is so different from everywhere else but the results are always really really good because it attracts a type of person so that's really really cool I'm trying yeah. to think what else do we do in the advance i'm trying to think we cover a lot of stuff don't we we, we, really... we, we, we cover so much which is why you actually have to have the uh, um FLP practitioners, the basics. Yeah, you do. Before you can move on to the advanced, because yeah, there's so much more that you can do to it that you won't be able to do all of it in 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 one go. You have to sort of like have those, you know, the practitioners and then the advanced because mm. your mind would just you wouldn't be able to understand or take it all in unless you have that basic um, understanding initially. I, I really think it's important because um, nobody's doing what we do. And I, I had a girl contact me and she said, oh, I've just tried to do it on my own, but this went wrong with a client and that went wrong. And, that, and I went, you're just not doing any of it properly. We teach you everything. Then another girl came and said, oh, this guy just does past life and he does this and he does that and he adds a bit of this on. She said, but I don't feel I'm doing it right. And I went, you just need to come and train properly with us. You really need to come and just get the foundation right, as you say then go on to the advance and get the advance right. You just need to get it done properly so you know exactly what you're doing. And our people are prepared. You know, they're prepared. They really know what they're doing. Our, our practitioners, they amaze me. I mean, we've got, we've got experts in, we've got some of the biggest in NLP have come and train with us, but we've got master hypnotherapists. We've also got master past life regression is we've got people that are really good at the business the marketing we've had some very cool people come and train with us a lot of neuroscientists really been for the work with young cool. people yeah well that's that's something i'm working on right now so it's, it, the things with what we do it's forever developing so we're, i'm working with bunby at the moment for the addiction side of things and i think that can go but young people i really want to put some cool stuff together for young people I, I think they're struggling so much these days and, yeah, and people are trying to convince them to be anxious everything's about anxiety with young people and fear and worry and confusion and we should be teaching them to be brave and you know brave and excited by the amazing world we're creating and they're not they're not good having a whole generation cowering in their bedroom scared to leave the bedroom and 
worried all the time we need to be brave and funny and uh, yeah so exactly. uh, and, and be unique be you yeah don't be, yeah. Don't be the yeah. you know don't be the same as ev everyone else we, which obviously is a big mm -hmm. thing that happens now but we you know but with the future life stuff you actually get to be you yeah not yeah not, ev not not everyone else and it's your spark that lights your path and lights the path of everyone else around you yeah it's amazing, isn't it? Now, for young people to be able to inspire them, so, so wonderful. I, lo I love that. And I've done a certain amount of work with young people, showing them if you st the alternate, they, they say they're thinking, should I study this or this or this? And you take them to when they're studying, but also beyond it, so they're out working in that world. One will just light up. One of those lines will light up. Now, I, and if they're not sure, I, I throw in a wild card. This, is there something else? Have a little look. Is there something else there? And suddenly go, oh my God, I never thought of that, but that's brilliant. And then they know, they're supposed to know at 16 what to study, what you're going to do forever. It's so hard. But I love, that is really exciting, the young, working with young people. And of course, the corporate side, going into companies and um, helping to inspire, because people don't work together anymore, do they? They, no. they kind of almost fight in their own corner rather than working for the company and as a team. And when they start to be visionary for the company, things really go well. So I'm, uh, yeah, I'm very busy developing stuff. <laughs> Got a lot of material. I know, you know, how we managed to find time today. We did. And I, yeah, it was just really, it's been really great just uh, having a chat to you because you, you're a really great trainer. You're so good. I mean, uh, I never have to think, or oh, I can always just go, Ray's got one going on, go to her, it'll go great. You know, I never I never have to stop and think about it. I always know it's, they're going to have a great training. So I might, I'll put on an advance probably in the autumn or something. I'll, I'll see. Uh, I'll see how I go with that. But um, yeah, definitely, this is going to be brilliant. And yeah, good luck with your training in in uh, in July. In July, yes. And of course, the beauty with um, FLP, both the um, practitioner and the advance, is it can be done online because you can have breakout rooms where you get to practice on each other mm. and then we can have the feedback you don't need to do it in person so you can be anywhere in the world to do it yeah. and you don't have to pay expenses to go and stay somewhere to to actually do the training you can do it over a whole weekend from yeah. your home and that's that's, that's also amazing it's been that what was lovely about doing it online. I've done we've both done plenty of live yeah. live and then people come, but doing it online, people could never have made it. I mean, I, I think the last one I did was somebody in China, somebody in Panama, somebody up near Alaska. You know, there's a, it was like you know somebody in Australia. They're all kind of awake at different times, and it was just it was just bringing these people together would never get to we forget we can hop on a train and get into London or whatever but a lot of people aren't anywhere where they can get to a training so yeah doing it online is brilliant it really really brings uh gives an opportunity to people and as you say they don't have all the travel or the expense of hotels and that always costs so much doesn't it yeah yeah that that always add, adds to, adds to the cost so, yeah. yeah, you know, you could be doing the FLP with me in July and then you could be doing the advance with Anne later in the autumn, which will be yeah. absolutely brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Just really hone them skills. And I, and the thing is, when you finish the FLP with you, you can finish on the Sunday night, Monday morning, you can go and use it. You can get straight out there. get Because get, you, you'll hone so much over those three days, you'll be amazed you'll feel confident just to go straight out and, and use it and get working and really nice. That'd be brilliant. Well, good luck with your training. I thank you. And I look forward to your advance. Yeah. And I'll talk to you. We'll talk again soon, I think. Yeah, definitely.